Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? It's, uh, it's Russell here from Porky's Corner, the voice of hardcore boxing and today I'm going to do something a little bit different today because I'm a little bit cheesed off with boxing at the moment with you know all these, all these, all these hype jobs about and people are just basically not fighting anybody uh, so what I want to do uh, so we're steady over this. I don't want to damage my wheels. I've just had them done. Uh, I want to talk about an American gangster, a former American gangster, the late John Gotti. Now, for the last couple of days, I've been watching a lot of documentaries about him, and I watched quite a few films, three films. One with John Travolta, one with Armand Sante, and another one with a guy whose name I forgot, but they're all good films. Uh, and I think that I've not got anything wrote down, it's just that looking at it from looking from the outset. I think that the guy, John Gotti, I think he beat the system. He beat the system, and I think you've got to applaud that. Now, I know there's a lot of haters out there that are going to hate on him, and I've, I've watched other documentaries as well, other interviews with John Elite and Sammy the Bull Gravano. How can anybody talk, take those guys seriously? They are. Immediately turn left. They're rats. Who's, who's going to listen to a rat, or in England we call him a grass, or a wrong'un, or a, if you're from Manchester, they call him a midnight. I like the one midnight myself, but I also like the word grass, that's what they are, grasses. But, I think John Gotti, from humble beginnings, rose to the top of an industry, taking in half a billion dollars a year and his own cut they say were 12 million dollars now that sort of money is Marilyn Lynch isn't it you know bankers it's it, it's bank investment bank money and chief executive officers CEO money fortune 500 company money so the guy I think is a genius he beat the system in his profession which basically is being a gangster isn't it now I've always been fascinated by gangsters myself probably because they go against the establishment don't they you know the gangster I'm not saying I've ever been a gangster but I've served 12 year in prison uh, sorry 10 year in prison over a 12 year period 91 Please keep right October till May 2004 I also did a month in 87 when I was 16 years old and I did 15 days in 2015 so what's that 123 months and 15 days so I like to think that I have spent time in prison with people who were from that kind of cloth and I, when I were in jail, when I were a young lad, I knew who the people, I know who the main guys in there were, and it weren't me when I were a young lad. I'd like to think that when I got to my mid to late twenties, that I more or less I knew how to play the game when I were in there. But I'm like a little dormouse when I first went in there, like a little dormouse. But uh, I have to give somebody like John Gotti respect. Uh, there's people that can say he's a thug, he's a killer, he's this, he's that. They didn't go around killing innocent people, did they? Killed people that were going to kill them. I mean, I keep seeing all this, kill Paul Castellano. Oh, poor little Paul Castellano. Who were going to have him killed? They were going to have John Gotti, John Gotti killed and his brother. You know, and his pals. Or oh, in America they call it the, his crew. Whatever, so I... As far as I'm concerned, 
guy's a legend, the guy's a lion. The guy's a big dog. He's a big dog. Now people might say, oh Porky, we're not doing a boxing video, what are you doing this for? What are you going to be doing next? Your favourite chocolate bar? Yeah, I might do. But uh, I just think that he has to be given respect and I, and I see a lot, I see, I see not that many but a few disrespecting a guy who on his last sentence he served 12 years and ended up dying in there. He died in there man. That's the, that's the, he rolled the dice didn't he and that was his outcome. I mean they say he was a degenerate gambler and he didn't win much but this is how I look at it right. He rolled the dice and his legacy lives on, doesn't it? And I think that you have to respect that. He, he looked to me, right, from what I've seen and heard and read, that he loved everything about being a gangster, as his son John Gotti Jr. said. He loved it and there's nothing like job satisfaction, is there? I went with a boxing promoter, Dennis Hobson, right? The money is terrible. I do this YouTube channel, the money's even terrible. But I enjoy what I do, it's better than sweeping floors in a prison, isn't it? For seven quid a week. But that, that documentary I watched, and then I watched the film and the ending for John Gott. And I didn't like the ending, and I didn't, there were a lot of things in it I didn't like. I didn't like the fact that he's he'd been through a lot of hardships as a kid growing up. I didn't like I didn't I felt for his his wife and his family when the, the son Frankie died and little things like that. People oh them kind of things can mix people up. Um, I think that in his early career when he got married, I think he tried to go straight. You know he had a few jobs and that but it just wasn't for him. A cop car following me. Unbelievable. But it is, isn't it? No, uh, it's a taxi man trying to make out he's a cop car. What are you making out your old bill for, you white taxi, you mug? But now getting back to uh, John Gotti, listen, the gangsters aren't that they've got to earn money. Paul Castellano were going to kill him, so he took him out, he did right. It's not his fault that Sammy Gravano grassed them all up. Somebody like that of a high ranking like Gravano, he should be ashamed of himself. Until you get grassed up and you go to prison for being grassed up by your co-accused. I can't explain, I've had that myself. But no, he's left a, he's left a thing in my head, you know, watching that, watching them, that stuff, film, watching the documentaries about him, it's left a, it's all come back to me how time I've spent in jail and that, and I think a guy earning 12 million a year, and He's ended up like that, but he's ended up serving prison like that. But you know what, you know what, where did I say that he beat the system? This is how I look at it. Three not guilties, whether it was jury tampering, whether his pals had scared witnesses off, so what? The system's there to be beat, isn't it? That's as far as I'm concerned. The Americans beat him at his own game, didn't they? They took his lawyer, Bruce Cutler, they wouldn't let him defend him for his fourth trial, would they? How bad is that? How bad is that? The jury, the jury were, were, were nobody knows who the jury were. I mean, who's to say, who's to say that all the jury weren't all coppers? I just think that I just think it's bad what's happened. I just think it's bad. I do, I just think it's bad. I think it's bad, I think he got a raw deal. Um, just 
leaves a bad taste in my mouth. Uh, how they treat him like a dog, them black, them 12 year on solitary confinement and dying like that, that's treat him like an animal. Really, bo really bothered me as last few days that I'm watching them, watching them programs and that. Really, really bothered me, and I think you don't need a script. I don't need to write any jot notes down and learn anything off by art when I've seen it in black and white. And yeah, you could say that he didn't do himself any favours. Uh, you know, rubbing the police's nose in it. But so what? You know, it's. Uh, Everybody loved Al Capone when he did it. And I think John Gotti will go down as a bigger gangster than Al Capone. Yeah, Al Capone only had one sentence, didn't he? Or one big sentence. And the, the lifespan's short, isn't it, those guys? Like, what was Al Capone? 48, 49 when he died, would he? My age, isn't he? 49. So, I don't know. I just, I just think it's bad what they did to John Gotti. What they did to him, they wouldn't even let him have his lawyer. Don't you have rights in your country? They wouldn't even let him have his lawyer. Come on. Hey? And who were the jury? A couple of things like that. And how could he get a fair trial? How could he get a fair trial? When you've got the newspapers putting it out every day that he's the boss of the Gambinos and things like that, I mean... I just think they stitched him up with a dodgy jury. I do. He was stitched up like a Buxton Christmas turkey. Just how I look at it. How I, how I look at it, but... Are you trying to race me, boy? But uh, reading through it, I don't know if this is true or anything like that, but that Latonza heist from, uh, is it JFK? They say that uh, John Gotti has something to do with that. If he did, go on, lad, go on. I've seen that, I've seen a, a programme about, or something about that in the Goodfellas, uh, in the Goodfellas uh, film. Now they steal five million or something, five, six million. Well, if he did do that in late 70s, good luck to him. The legend lives on, doesn't it, I suppose. Good luck to him. But, uh, you know, you live that kind of life and that's that's what uh, you come to an horrible ending. But he did, that ending didn't have to come to that, did it, really? But all them rats, like, I mean, John Alight and Sam and the Bull Gravano, they killed over 30 people between them. They're walking about now in America. They're walking about. They killed over 30 people. Where's their pride? Where's their self-respect? This leaves a bad taste in my mouth. The whole episode of that, it just could have been so much better. And I really feel for his, John Gotti's his family, I do honestly. But then again, I know kids who are in jail now who've been in years. And uh, they're getting treated, they're getting exactly the same, similar treatment of British government. And, I don't know, but... I just think that the stories that, that have been told on the YouTube programmes, I know which ones I believe, and I don't believe John Alight's. Rap like that. Rap! Oh, that Gravano, I mean, Jesus! Killed his brother in Lawrence Stone cold blood. I mean, yeah. they profited off it from in a book. I mean, the Amer they played chess with John Gotti. Played chess with the American government. And they wanted him so bad that they let a murderer go onto the street. They wouldn't let him have his lawyer. They played dirty, but he played dirty as well with them. John Gotti, didn't he? But you can't take the government on. But the reason people keep saying, oh, why, why, do you, why, why do you look up to somebody like that? I don't look up to somebody like that. I admire somebody like that. Because they're taking the establishment on. I mean, did you see all the people outside the court when John Gotti got sentenced? They ransacked the, 
court in New York or outside it, jumping on cars and that. That is when somebody's good in the community. That are giving. Look, when all said and done, we're going to talk about him in 200 year, 500 year. There'll never be another one like him, and I think for that, big respect. Big respect. Massive, massive, massive respect. Sorry, mate. I'm trying to race me, there, man. Camera sits still. But yeah, I just think, I just think it's a sad ending. I think it's a sad ending for him. Uh, having to visit his family, his, fa his family having to visit him behind a screen. I mean, we don't even have that in England unless you're in, unless you're in block. But in England, when you get sentenced, you don't just get sentenced to solitary confinement. There's a middle ground. You go, as, you go into the jail as a standard. Everybody's equal. If you misbehave, you go to basic. Then you're behind a screen, or I were. On visits. If you behave, you enhance, you get a TV in your cell, a PlayStation. But uh, he shouldn't have been, he wouldn't have been sentenced to solitary confinement in England unless he messed about in the system. I mean, for example, Kenny Noy has just been, Kenny Noy's just been released, right? He's uh, somebody else that I admire. He's just been released. Uh, 6th of June after serving 21 years on a life sentence for murder. Now, take the first now uh, as far as I'm concerned, Kenny Noy had done his time. He'd also got 14 years for Brinks Matt Gold Bullion. So if Kenny Noy can get out, if John Gotti were in England, he would have got out. He would have got out. They've not got him killing anybody, have they? It's just chit chat. That wouldn't have stood up in England. And how the American police went about getting the evidence, right? How they went about getting the evidence leaves a bad taste in my mouth because didn't they bug that Mikey Parliament Parliament's mum's apartment or something? Did they have permission to do that? I don't know, but it just leaves a bad taste in my mouth, the whole episode and I feel so sorry for for the guys' families and that. I do honestly. I do, because I know what it's like to be in prison for years after year after year. You know, I respect anybody who goes to prison if they're trying to put food on the table. I respect anybody who's trying to put food on the table for the family who goes to prison. Bob, Bob, they always have my respect. Unless the you know, sex cases or grasses. I don't respect them kind of people. Or people who are old people, but... And other than that, you know, it's a dog-eat-dog -dog system. Yeah, I'm... Hey, up, John, I'm, uh, we have a look. 2.24, estimated time of arrival. So it's... All right, give me a call when you come in here and I'll uh, come on to the main road. All right, then. See you in a minute, yeah. Going out for a game of snooker with my pal. He grew up. We grew up. We. Uh, he went to school with Dennis. <laughs> JD. So we're gonna go out and have a game of snooker today. I think. And then I'll have to get back. I can't be having a late one with JD. I'll end up. Uh, I'll end up looking hard at blinds all night when I get home like that, thinking it's on top. So, I've got to be strong-willed today and just drink shandy. In fact, I'm going to drink water and show them that I'm tough and strong-willed. Can't be going out and uh, getting out of my face. Not on a nice day like this. It's a beautiful day, isn't it? But yeah, the John Gotti thing, I don't know, but what, what, sort, what a life that guy led. And the book. Uh, in the shadow of my father, I recommend that people go and get it. It's written by his son. 
um, people should read that but uh, yeah there's a few books I mean I think one I think his daughter is it Victoria I think she's got a a few books out about uh, this family of mine is it called one of them I haven't read that book though but I don't doubt that that's probably a good book because isn't she a novelist a very talented lady she'd do well if she lived in England she probably does well in America actually but but yeah, it's been on my mind watching all them documentaries. They're quite addictive, aren't they, them YouTube things? Uh, go on, mate. They're quite addictive, uh, them, uh, them channels. Uh, but, but yeah, uh, yeah, it's bothered me. It's bothered me. I'm probably going to give my pal Peter Fury a ring and ask him what he thinks about them because... He, uh, well, it's no secret that, you know, Peter, uh, it's no secret Peter will tell you he were a gangster, wasn't he? Uh, a serious gangster, and he isn't now, he's a boxing trainer. Uh, but, you know, we all grow up, don't we, I suppose? Uh, we all grow up. But uh, I wonder if Peter's seen that. I wonder if, uh, I wonder if they'll do a film about Peter. I mean, I've heard a little rumour that there's there's some people. Is it Terry Stone? Is it Billy Murray? I've heard a little whisper that them people might be looking at doing a Peter Fury film. I don't know if it's true. Uh, I wonder if I'll get a look. I wonder if I'll get a part in the film, or if somebody will play me. You know, making the tea in the background or sweeping up in the gym. Molly joking. But uh it's not for me all like that. But, but yeah, it's left a right bad taste in my mouth that how the Trek John Gotti, but what a character. Bergen Hunt Fish Club, Ravenite Club, they had their own headquarters. Please take proper us. men's men, proper men's men, weren't they in them days? I mean, you look at John Gotti and you think, I look at people like that, and I, I've got, Dennis is a bit like him, isn't he? Alpha males, aren't they? The leaders, aren't they, of, 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 of the, the people, I suppose. I don't know. I don't know, it's, it's, in, it's just interesting. I think it's in, an interesting time as we look back in popular culture. No, take we'll look seat. back in years to come, or our next generations will look back and they'll think, this guy here had some guy had some balls on him, didn't he? He had balls as big as a uh, American footballs. Which way is this here now? Where am I going here? Where have you got me coming here, JD? Is it this way here? Fucking Drake house. I don't know where I am here. Yeah, straight on. But, uh, but yeah, you've got to give John Gotti respect. Respect, massive respect. And people out there should go out and buy the, the John Travolta, John Travolta film on DVD. Or go and watch the Gotti film We Are Mande Asante on YouTube. That's free. You can watch that. But I think the Travolta film is just a touch better, but not that much. But I've got bigger stars in it, haven't I? Joel Travolta, Kelly Preston. Bigger stars in it, better production, I think, but still a good film. I mean, will that film get an award? I think it should do. I think it's. I think he played a good part there, John Travolta. Take the second. I mean, is he an Oscar-winning actor? He's one of the A-list guys, isn't he? So, but people say. Do you agree with John Gotti dealing drugs, Russ? And I say, listen, I'm no angel. And I'm, I'm ex-drug addict myself. And I've had my moments with that kind of lifestyle, but... Look, if you've got to put food on the table, and you've got somebody like Paul Castellano asking you to kick up every month, or whatever that means, I'm, I'm assuming that's giving him a drink every month. When you've got people like that... Uh, You've got to do things like you to get money in, so 
Oh. Take the second exit. Nobody's, I'm, I'm, I'm a, nobody's saying John Gott is an angel and they're saying he didn't play by the rules by doing that, but you no. Know, we're talking mob life here, aren't we? <laughs> you can go out and murder somebody, but you can't go out and serve somebody eat some drugs or be involved in something like that. Look, at the end of the day, this is where, how I look at it. You've got to put food on the table in that lifestyle, haven't you? Or you've got somebody wanting to put a bullet in your head. Every night, every week if you don't kick up. But we're on here 25 minutes. So it's just... I just think that John Gotti has to be respected. It's just... Do you know what the whole episode of watching them documentaries and films? Is the way he died. It's bothered me. It's bothered me for a few days. It really bothered me. I just think it's so sad. They put his family through all that, man. And him, and what a tough guy to go through all that and not complain. Jesus. Can you imagine today's generation? They would have been bitching, complaining, and putting applications in to complain to prison governor. But. Look at that Alfa Romeo Me Too. I used to have one of them. They sound brilliant, but they're a bag of shit. I had a three year old one. It went like shit off a garden shovel. One point nine mile. Can't be that far now. But uh, but all in all, just a just a different approach today. Sporting me Lacoste t-shirt. Thought I'd uh, put it on. It's nice weather, isn't it? Yeah, a different. Uh, a different vibe today, something totally different. Nothing about Britain is broken or like that other video I did. That's my best video of that. Britain is, is Britain broken and it didn't get that many views. So, keep on trucking, keep supporting John Gotti. Ah, you thought I we were going to say keep supporting boxing then, didn't you? Keep supporting John Gotti, even though he's dead. You should go out and buy the memorabilia or buy the DVD. Or buy the book in the shadow of my father or this family of mine by Victoria Gotti and the latter ones by Please take the uh, at the roundabout onto John Gotti Jr. I think he's wrote the book or has something to do with the book. But like I said, I'm a fan of John Gotti, the late John Gotti. I'm a fan for what he believed in. He stuck to his principles and he wanted to be a gangster and he wasn't ashamed to say, I'm a gangster, so what? Come and take me on. I'll pit my wits against you. So fair play to him. So peace out. Boom.